Sea Trippin friends, it's Kim and Scott back with you today and we are going to talk about how to save money on your cruise. That's right. Remember, the more you save, the more you can cruise. So stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. Now before we get started, we just want to remind everybody to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. That's right, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you like the channel. That's right, and remember, it doesn't cost you anything to hit that subscribe button. All right, we're gonna dive into it. Number one, we've been preaching this in all our previous videos if you've watched those. The number one way that we save money is to book that interior cabin. That's right. We we save a lot of money yeah. by sticking with those interior cabins. Um, balconies are nice. They're nice, yeah. We've done them before. Yeah. We'll do them again. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but really, how often are you in your room? Yeah. I mean, like I said, you go out there and everything, but if you want to get cruised more often, mm -hmm. this is the best way to save money. Absolutely. And then on top of that, we do the guaranteed room this time. And so we're saving even more. Yeah, if you do a guaranteed room, that is where the cruise line picks your cabin for you. Um, so you don't know where you're gonna end up if you're okay with that. So we're, we're doing that on our next cruise, so. Yeah, we're only a couple of days away from sailing <laughs> and we still don't even know where our room is. No idea, but, but hey. hey, we're on a cruise. We're okay, and it was cheaper. Yeah. So there you go. All right, now the number two way to save money on your cruise is to use a travel agent. Yeah. Um, we haven't always used a travel agent. I mean, we have in the past because um, the prices are usually pretty similar. Um, the only thing that you might get some extra perks if yeah. you go through a travel agent. Yeah, sometimes they'll give you a little more onboard credit or a, a specialty dining reservation, something like that. Yeah, so you just have to look and compare things like that. Yeah. All right, the number three way to save money is to keep checking the prices on your cruise. A lot of times these prices fluctuate mm -hmm. and they'll drop in price. Yeah, um, even after you've booked your cruise, keep an eye on those prices because they can drop, they can have sales, mm -hmm. um, and you can just, you can get that new price, that new lower price. It's not hard to do. Yeah, sometimes the if you've already paid in full, they'll do like an onboard credit, stuff like that to give you the money back. But hey, money's money. And then going again, if you're used a travel agent, they take care of all uh, of that yes. stuff for you. Yep. So that is another perk of using a travel agent. You know, if the price fluctuates, they're going to take care of that for you. Yeah. All right. The number four way to save money is to check each person in the room's special rewards member with the cruise. That's right. So for example, if you're doing a carnival cruise, it's the VFIP mm -hmm. or crown and anchor for Royal Caribbean. Um, check everybody's account because they're all different. That's right. She <laughs> usually gets the great deals for the uh, the casino offers where I don't get those. Yeah, so don't just assume that everybody's deals are exactly the same. Look at everybody's. Yeah. All right. The number five way to save money on your cruise is to book in the off season. Yes, definitely. Now, typically that is going to be during the fall. Now, especially for us, if you're doing the Caribbean cruises. Yeah, just remember that's hurricane season and that's why those cruises <laughs> tend to be cheaper. Yeah, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay, the number six way to save money is through casino deals. Yes, if you go to the casino, gamble a little bit of money, try not to spend too much money because most likely you're going to lose it. But yes. <laughs> if you go to the casino, you will start getting deals for your upcoming cruises. Yeah, and sometimes those deals, they can be for free rooms, mm -hmm. free drinks on board, stuff like that. So the deals are pretty good. Yeah, so sometimes it's worth it to lose a little money yeah. in the casino to get those future deals. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the number seven deal, and it's not for everybody, but if you can, drive to port. Yeah, absolutely. Now, obviously everybody can't drive to a port. Most people may have to fly, but driving can save you a lot of money if you can do that, if yeah. it's close enough. Yeah, it could save a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the airlines are having so much problems right now with canceled flights and everything else mm -hmm. that it might be something to really look into. Yeah, just make sure you drive in a day ahead of time yes. in case you have any kind of car issues. Yeah. Number eight, and that kind of leads us into this, is 
to book a hotel, preferably that day before, you know, for your day before, mm -hmm. but have it include breakfast mm -hmm. and have it include, uh, if possible, that shuttle to the port. Yeah, if you park and stay at the hotel, sometimes they offer a shuttle that can be cheaper than parking oh, at the port. Yeah, usually it's a lot so cheaper. So we've done that a lot of times. Yeah. It's well worth it to just take that little shuttle from the hotel to the port. It can save you a lot of money. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. All right, the number nine way to save money is through credit cards. Yeah, depending on what credit card you're using, sometimes they give you money back just for spending it on a cruise. Matter of fact, with our American Express, we just had a deal where you spend $500, you got $100 back. That's like $100 of free money. Yeah, why not do it? Yeah, <laughs> so saved $100 off the cruise. Now, mm -hmm. I think uh, Chase also usually has some kind of deals going on where you use their card, you get a little bit of money back. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, You've also got the cruise lines yeah. credit cards. Yeah, um, you can get the cruise lines credit card. Sometimes it's worth it if you cruise a lot. They offer certain perks, onboard credit, room upgrades. Yeah. I mean, you just have to look it over and see if that is something for you. Yep, and then besides all those little perks and everything, another thing you can do is if you buy the stock options and you buy 100 shares mm -hmm. of stock, you also get some onboard credit usually back from that company. Yeah, and I think that's pretty um, pretty same across the board. Royal, yeah. Carnival, Royal. they kind of all, you know, tend to do the same thing. Yeah, I think it's usually what, 100 shares and then you get, what is it, $100 of onboard credit? For the longer, for the for seven, seven night eight, cruises, cruise. and then yeah. it's only like $50 it's credit if it's a shorter short, cruise. Yeah, for the six day, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, look into that, it could be worth it if that's something you want. That's right, Every, yeah. again, everything <laughs> adds up to help you cruise more. Absolutely. All right, number 10 way to save money, and we've talked about this one a couple of different times in a couple of our different videos, is doing the Carnival or Royal gift cards. Yeah, um, usually you can save money by ordering these gift cards on different websites. You can save, I think it's like 10% every time. Yep. So that definitely can add up. Yeah, so like I said, you buy that $1,000 gift card. Uh, I think it's off AARP, right? AARP or Allstate DriveWise. Yeah, so it's $1,000 and you only pay 900 So mm -hmm. you just saved $100 there. Yeah, definitely. Now, let us tell you a little story. <laughs> uh, Royal Caribbean, they're not gift cards. Their gift certificates. Yeah, we have done the carnival gift cards before. Super easy. Yep. It would. It acts like you think it would. You. Just, <laughs> they give you the gift card. You put it on your cruise. Fine. Okay. This is the first time we've gotten a Royal Caribbean gift card. It's not actually a gift card. not a gift card. It's a gift certificate, and you can't just automatically apply it to your cruise. No. Yeah. You have to email this. Um, site and give them the information and it could take up to 10 business days for them to process your gift certificate and apply it towards your cruise. That's right. So we had already put a cruise <laughs> on hold. We did. We weren't aware of this. No. We, we were trying to get it. So they're supposed to credit us back, you know, the thousand. Uh, it's just a mess. Yeah. So it was taking way too yeah. long. We had to just go ahead and pay off our cruise. And so we're still waiting for our refund because they're like, go ahead and pay your cruise because you're at the deadline. And then we'll process these gift certificates. And if your cruise is already paid in full, we'll just go ahead and refund your credit card. So again, yeah, these gift certificates <laughs> seem like they'd be a good idea. Still, if as long as you've got a cruise in the future. Yeah, as long not, as- Not good for last minute. Yeah, we, we bought a last minute cruise. We had no idea this is how the Royal Caribbean gift certificates worked. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, again, it's still a good way to save money. It is. And it's not like we've lost money. No. They're going to credit us the money back, but still waiting on that. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. The number 11 way to save money is to skip paying for drinks or at least those drink packages. Yeah, there are so many drink options that already come included in your cruise mm -hmm. fare. You've got tea, coffee. Um, there's usually some kind of juice, milk. So you absolutely do not have to spend yeah. extra money on those expensive drinks. That's right. And, and for the pay drinks, like uh, 
the uh, your fruity cocktails and mm -hmm. stuff like that you can buy them as you go if you know that you're not going to be drinking i don't know what you, with each cruise line it's a different number where you gotta reach to break even <laughs> yeah. kind of thing yeah you don't have to uh, have to worry about doing that no and keep in mind if you are a soda drinker a lot of times soda is not going to be included in your cruise fare each person's allowed to bring a 12 pack of canned yep. sodas on board so keep that in mind too and then on top of that each person can bring a bottle of wine with them. So that's two bottles of wine there for your Each adult room. person. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You can't, you can't put them on your kid's backpack. No. Yeah. And they must be carried on. Don't put them in your packed, your checked luggage. So carry that on. Okay. Number 12 is water. The only kind of water that is free <laughs> on the cruise is there out of the dispenser. Yeah. Or tap water if you so choose. But... Um, so if you prefer bottled water, some cruise lines have canned water, that is extra. You have to pay extra for bottled water. Now, a good way to save money on that, and we do this yes, a lot, yeah. is prepay for a 12-pack of bottled water, and it'll be delivered to your room and be there when you arrive in your cabin. Yeah, and I know about Carnival. I think it's $5.95 for that 12-pack water. Yeah. That's probably the best deal on the cruise that you're gonna get. I was like, wow, that's actually, it's so worth it. Yeah, and it's so much cheaper than drinking those big bottles Listen. of water that they leave in your cabin. Yeah, don't do that. Don't drink those, mm. those are expensive. All right, number 13 way of saving money is to pre-book your excursions. Not only your excursions, but any of the specialty dinings, your, your drink packages, everything like that. Make sure you buy it ahead of time. Yeah, normally when you pre-book all those things, you're going to save money. And remember, just like your cruise fare, the price can fluctuate. Yeah. So keep checking those prices even after you've booked them because they can go down, they can have special sales, and you can always cancel it, yep. rebook it at that sale price. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just booked our cruise, mm -hmm. and I think uh, we were we booked it three weeks out, and we've already canceled and <laughs> rebought a bunch of our excursions and packages a bunch of times because they kept going down. Yeah, so just keep an eye on those prices. It can definitely save you some money. Yes. Now, number 14, and this is a big one, is to double check <laughs> your packing list before you go. Yes, go over that list. Make sure you have everything that you think you might possibly need <laughs> for any kind of scenario. I mean, pack cold medicines, pack your shampoos, conditioners, toothpaste, everything, because if you forget something, it is so expensive to purchase that on board. Yeah, you don't wanna have to go down to the gift shop or whatever no. and have to purchase that $12 bottle <laughs> of aspirin. No, so, just double check your list. Make sure you have everything that you may need on your cruise because gosh, it can save you a lot of money. A lot. Yes, yeah, so just take that extra time and go over it a three, four, five <laughs> times. Just make sure you have everything. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you have any money saving tips for us, please leave us a comment down below. Yes, and please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and then hit that notification bell so you know the next time that we post a new video. That's right, so until next time everybody, have fun and be safe. Bye. Bye.